Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another fly time video today. Today it's a dry fly and um, this one's a classic old pattern again and it's one that you, if you've taken a TU fly tying class, like a beginner's class, you probably learned it there. If you didn't, you know, if you're a YouTube learner, then here's a chance for you to learn it here. Uh, this is called the crackle back and it's a very easy fly and it's a searching pattern. Um, doesn't really imitate anything. Uh, I'll tell you what it could imitate, what it really would work really well for in my area is uh, Yellow Sally. Um, I just now thought of that. We have a lot of Yellow Sallies on one of the streams I fish and we don't really get a hatch of them but we see a lot of them. And this is a pattern that would be a good one for that. So I'm going to be throwing it for that when the time's right. And um, it's really, really easy to tie. Only a couple pieces of material. And it's hard to mess up almost. And even if you do mess it up, it's still going to float. Put some floating on it and it'll work for you. So here it is in the, in the vise and the material list to tie it. Alright, here you see the fly in the vise, um, classic old pattern, let's get into tying it. For the hook I'm using a 419 fire hole in a size 14 and you can tie this smaller, you can tie it in a size 12 would work. Um, I'm going to tie it in a 14. The thread I'm using is 70 denier olive and I'm just going to start it on and wrap it back here towards the back. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a piece of dry fly hackle and this is brown or a furnace, something that color, just a, like a brown coachman, anything you got there. Then I'm going to take two pieces of peacock curl and this is a quick tie. That's why it's one of the, one of the ones that you find a lot of time being taught in TU classes, you know, in the beginner's classes and stuff. It's a quick and easy tie and if you screw it up it'll still fish. So we're just going to tie that down and we're going to cover the hook shank there. Now we're going to come back to the bend. I'm going to put a little dubbing. You can use like any color of yellow works good for this. It's more of an attractor fly. I'm going to use more of like a sulfur colored fly and uh, this one's um, SLF Whitlock's Dubbing Blends and the color is uh, Red Squirrel Nymph Abdomen so I'm just going to dub that on I don't want to get real thick with it just changing the color of my thread kinda and we're going to cover the whole shank the whole way up to the eye with it I'm going to stop right behind the eye where I'm going to build my head up now we're going to take our two pieces of peacock curl and go across right across the top and tie them down make a couple wraps make sure they're secure and you can break them off and then I'm going to take my hackle and I'm just going to palmer it up and with each wrap it's going to trap that peacock curl down and I'm going to space it out a little bit and just make nice even spaces work the whole way up here to the end and tie it off right behind the eye and that is all that's to the crackle back it's a cool little pattern great searching pattern and uh, you know you can use it as an attractor style fly you see fish rising throw this at it it's one that they'll sometimes hit at a progression or whatever Tie it like this in a sulfur color. It'll work during the sulfur hatch for you. And uh, there you go. You see how easy it was. And how quick it was. You can fill the box up pretty quick with these guys. So give that fly a try. Okay guys. I hope you like that pattern. Like I said. Very easy. Very quick tie. Super quick tie actually. Especially for a dry fly. And um, you know. It's a lot of 
techniques that you probably already know. Palmering the hackle like that, same thing you do on a woolly bugger, except this time you're using dry fly hackle instead of like a spay hackle or a you know a long saddle saddle hackle or something like that. So easy fly to tie. Enjoy tying it. You know, if you're new to tying, this is a great one for you to practice on. And you get, you know, a great dry fly for you to practice on. So give it a try, guys. I'm sure you're going to like it. Um, like always, the material you can find down below here in the description. And you can find it on our website at holsingersflyshop.com. So until next week, when I bring you another fly tying video, I'm Sean Holsinger.